We're going to finish our notes on chemical equations by introducing our last type of equation, which is combustion. Combustion is the burning of a fuel. This is a compound that contains either just carbon or hydrogen, which is called a hydrocarbon, or contains carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Um, these are typically alcohol compounds. You react these compounds with molecular oxygen, O2, producing carbon dioxide and water. Again, basic notes on combustion. Combustion is just a fancy word for burning. This is a compound that reacts with oxygen. Again, usually contains carbon and hydrogen, hydrocarbon, or any carbon, hydrogen, oxygen compound. The products are carbon dioxide and water. And of course, the main product is energy, heat and light that we get from this burning. These are exothermic reactions, reactions that release heat and light. So an example, methane gas reacts with oxygen gas to produce carbon dioxide and water. When you burn something, you have either complete combustion, where you produce only CO2 and water, and the flame burns blue and hot, or you have incomplete combustion, such as a candle that still produces CO2 and water, but also a significant amount of carbon monoxide and carbon that is unburned or soot. The reactions are essentially the same. They're both combustion. One simply is completely converted to the product CO2 and water, and one is an incomplete combustion. Most of your alcohols, your flammable compounds such as methanol will result in a blue flame and this is almost always complete combustion producing only these two oxides of the fuel. Your combustion of hydrogen produces only water. There is no carbon dioxide produced because there is no carbon in the fuel. This could also be called oxidation of hydrogen. The hydrogen is oxidized, and it's also fine to call it combustion of hydrogen. Again, you can see that there's a significant amount of energy released. Oxidation is typically a reaction with O2, but it's typically a metal or non-metal that reacts with the oxygen, and it produces an oxide of this element. So nitrogen and oxygen gas produce some type of oxide of nitrogen. There are, again, quite a few of those. These are also exothermic reactions. So carbon is oxidized to CO2. It can also be oxidized to the other product, carbon monoxide. When metals react with oxygen, again, this is also certainly a synthesis reaction, could be easily classified that way. A little more specific is that it is an oxidation or makes an oxide of that metal. When you take some metals and finely powder them and put them in uh, the presence of heat, you oxidize them rapidly, and this is again iron 3 oxide. And again, the heat and light are released all at once in the form of sparks. This would be very similar to just an iron nail sitting out and rusting slowly. You would still have iron and oxygen, and you would still make this iron oxide compound, but you would make it far more slowly. And even though the amount of heat would be released, it would be released more slowly. Another example of an oxidation that you have done in lab, taking solid sulfur and oxidizing it and burning it in the presence of oxygen makes sulfur dioxide gas, and it also burns with this really pretty, unique blue-purple flame. So the difference between oxidation and combustion. True combustion is taking a carbon-hydrogen or carbon, hydrogen, oxygen fuel, reacting it with O2 and producing carbon dioxide and water. Of course, if it's incomplete combustion, you may produce some side products as well, but typically carbon dioxide and water. Oxidation may look like combustion. There may be significant energy, but this is typically when a metal 
reacts with oxygen or a nonmetal reacts with oxygen to make oxides of that fuel, such as iron 2 oxide or iron 3 oxide or sulfur dioxide or sulfur trioxide. Combustion produces carbon dioxide and water. That's where hydrogen reacting with oxygen and producing only water probably is not true combustion because it does not also make the carbon dioxide product. Again, oxidation and combustion, simple reactions, reacting with molecular oxygen to really produce basically oxides of the fuel. The iron produces an oxide of iron. The carbon hydrogen fuel produces oxides of carbon and oxides of hydrogen. The hydrogen fuel produces only oxides of hydrogen.